Symmetry, you saucy minx. Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon and this is Evil Genius 2. I'm trying to get the wooden, the Trojan horse here. And Symmetry has decided that this is where she's going to spend her day. So we're going to scout out a few more anvil sites just to give myself some options and hopefully manipulate her off of that spot. Uh, that spot. I think I tried to say spot and part at the same time, so it came out as spart. Ah, oh, Google Captions is going to have fun with that one. Anyway, we're also in North America because we're trying to get Agent X here to get, well, to, to die. But we'll handle him in a second. One thing at a time right now. We do have his first mission available as a side story, the Star Spangled Planner. But we'll get to that... Once we've got our Trojan horse. Where are you, Symmetry? Oh, she moved. Excellent. What a dipshit. Am I over a minute? Yeah, I sure am. What a dipshit. Okay. Let's grab some cash here. All of this is probably unnecessary, but it's fine. And... Yeah, so now we just need to kill a little time until we do that. Jubai, Ju Jubei just, his mission popped up for no reason? Okay. Whatever, we're not going after Jubei. As a reminder, we are defeating the world through brain power, not brutality. So we are getting only the uh, science-based henchmen. The we broke oh. Into was holding the original Trojan horse. What? How is that possible? Why didn't you notice it the first time? We didn't know what we were looking at. It was just, I don't know, a, a bunch of wood. You fool! That bunch of wood could gain us access to every closed door in the entire world. Fortunately, I know how to get it out of that fortress. Tell me, have you ever read the Iliad? <sighs> okay. You want to steal the Trojan horse? What better way to do that than with a cunning and wily plan to gain entry, one worthy of Odysseus himself? All right, so we just need to do it. We don't have to do anything special. Symmetry, I swear to Christmas, you are one of the most annoying super agents I've ever had to come across. <sighs> Almost as annoying as a certain someone who shall remain nameless. Because that guy is no longer part of our reality. Anyway, screw you, Symmetry. I'm going to figure out a way to get around you, even if I have to manipulate the system. How did I do that? I basically just entered and exited the world stage a few times, and that eventually gets her to move. Or maybe I just need to do it every couple of minutes or so. We'll get her out of the way. Yep, as predicted, just had to go back and forth a few times. All right, let's go get the Trojan horse, and then we'll have practically infinite money at our disposal. <laughs> Screw you, Symmetry. Wait, where'd you go? So we've got the Trojan horse, and I know from experience what's going to happen after I build it. So we need to see where we've got a lot of dudes. I guess I could build it in the middle of the lab, because at least my hench people are right there. By which I mean my henchman singular Iris. But I will be there as well, so the both of us can help attack it. Here we go. There's the wooden horse. Uh Oh, yep, there's the soldier immediately. We'll just red alert that shit. Zalika, why did you decide to get up close and personal? You know that's not your style. Here, retreat a little bit and then you can use your gun. Or you can just ignore me entirely and try to have a fist fight with some soldiers. That uh, probably isn't going to work as well as you want it to, but it's fine. Well, that was easy enough. Done. All right, so now we glue that shit shut, and then that'll be a mission done in our favor. And there we go, the new loot item is secure in our lair. Alright, so that's done. Let's go after Syrup-Titious. You've maintained economic strength through your holds on key commodities. Oil, water, natural gas. Now you've set your eyes on a much sweeter prize. Patriot's Maple Syrup Reserve. Side story. 
begun. No cutscene, but we're going to go straight to Patriot and start stealing that immediately because I want some syrup, goddammit. You've been interrogating those agents for hours. Have they spilled their syrup secrets? No, boss. But they want you to know that they're very sorry about uh, all the damage they caused. Sorry? They said it like that? Just like that? Uh, we thought it sounded funny too. Uh, want us to rough them up some more? No. To learn the secret recipe of maple syrup, we need to aim higher. Bring me the world's top syrup scientist. Still feel weird about how that bit of voice acting is pronounced. I'm pretty sure they were supposed to deliver that line with a Canadian accent, but I don't think the voice actors got any direction, so they just pronounced it with their normal accent, and it's just weird the way they word like, you know, very sorry, sorry, they said it just like that. Like, that's... The joke is lost because there is no Canadian accent to... Whatever. I just... I get a weird kick out of the voice acting in this game just because it's just not quite right, but it's not that bad. It's... The voice acting... Any problems with the voice acting is entirely the fault of the developers and a lack of direction more than the voice actors who clearly did their best. None of your secrets are safe from Agent X. Oh, crap. X is here somewhere. Oh, let's see. Is that him? Yep, there he is. Okay. Yeah, man, he's already dumping fake evidence all over the base. Like a prat. Come on over, Zalika. Let's get him revealed. Nice shot. Yes, good. Keep shooting them from a distance. That's where your stronger attacks are, and then you're not in danger. Oh, some friends have shown up. I didn't even realize his buddies were here with him. Well, they're gonna die pretty quick, too. Alright, there goes X. Now we need to interrogate the maple scientist in the prison. That's fine. How you doing, Zalika? Zalika's gonna be okay. So we'll just eliminate everyone and be done with it. Um... Is that the maple scientist? It sure is. Let's let's get her interrogated. And now we've got some syrup with no cutscene. All right, enough with the high alert. I mean, I'm pretty much basing everything out of the lab, so let's just keep our loot kind of together here for now. We can always move stuff around later if we need to. Uh, so, what else are we needing to do? Oh, yeah, let me clear the notification. Okay. Is there anything else we need to do here? I don't think we do. Oh, yeah, we need to do the Star Spangled Planner. Let's get Agent X's whole situation going. Patriot has identified you as a potential threat. To deal with you, they've dispatched the greatest investigative and strategic mind in the world, Agent X. You must be the freedom-hating mastermind I've had so many briefings on. Thanks for making the time. Sure. And you must be Agent X. No one else would be brave enough to go out in that outfit. I feel no shame about marching into battle cloaked in the colors of freedom itself. Battle? With what time? I'm sure you think you're very important, but I have a five-star resort to run. Nice try, but I know the truth about you. And I won't stop until the rest of the world does too. Uh-huh. Patriot territory is full of inviting targets. Okay, yes, yeah, so we're gonna head back into North America and do a little menacing. I've got truth and justice locked and loaded. Apparently, X is already back in the base. I thought I had to do multiple missions, but I only needed to do one. Let's see if we can find him again before he causes too many problems for us. Is that him? No. Well, I mean, there's nowhere else he really is going to be unless he's downstairs. 
Oh, Axe, you're so annoying. You're not difficult to deal with, you're just obnoxious. Oh, here we go. There he is. Damn, Zalika's weapon fires from a long range. She does a pretty decent amount of damage with it, too, so... She's not too bad as a fighter. Yeah, X is going down pretty quickly. Oh, shut up. Well, that was easy and quick. I laud your dedication to your mission, Agent X. But for all your bluster, my operation appears to be intact. That's because tomorrow's paper hasn't hit the stands yet. You were so busy trying to fox me. You didn't even realize what secrets you were giving away to a keen mind like mine. Please, I can strangle that story in its infancy. I love how dark that line is. Not so. Thanks to the power of Patriot's free press. So remember the next time we meet, I drew first blood. Yeah. How does that make you the hero here? Okay, is that everything that I need to do for the moment? I believe so, because I don't care about the Patriot gains. I don't care about going against the grain. I don't care about Aperture Science yet. So I'm just going to continue with the main story quest then. We need to get more minion types. And I don't think we need to worry about engineers yet. So let's just forget them and stick with the normal group so let's go with with friends like these who needs enemies business in the casino is booming your valet wait 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 wait. we're science first hold on matter of life for death our physicists have researched inanimate things for long enough it's time to study living things like poisonous plants poisonous fish and minions to find ways to improve them boss we need to talk must we every time you open your mouth i get a headache we're brushing up against the limits of our capabilities. It's time to explore new branches of science. Here it comes. Stabbing pains right here on my temples. Do what you must. We can kidnap anyone who can teach you what you need to know. Time to go kidnapping a biochemist? Is that... Oh, a biologist. Ah, close enough. A new type of minion is now available for training. Biology. That's the science of sharks, right? You would think Zalika would know more sp Well, it's fine. We study life and ways to end it. Like I said, sharks. Okay. Well, there's one down. Uh... Yeah, with friends like these, who needs enemies? Business in the casino is booming. Your valets are rushed off to their feet, keeping up with all the tourists' exasperating antics. It's time to train some minions to deal with them. We have a problem. The casino is crawling with tourists. They're everywhere. They've left us no place to hide. Isn't that a good thing? It sounds like business is booming. You'd think so, but we can't get to the agents. More and more are slipping through before we can get to them. That just won't do. Double the shifts. Cancel your leisure time. Drink more coffee. Do whatever it takes. Meanwhile, I'll get a team to find someone to distract the tourists. Celebrities should know what to do. Hmm. Hey, look, coffee. What do I need to do? Kidnap a socialite. <laughs> of course that's what I need to do. When in doubt... Kidnap someone. Too many in types down, two to go. This is about as close as I've come to doing a speed run of this game. A tourist in my lair. Get them. Uh, actually, boss, I'm one of your staff. Oh, good. We need a bit of class out there. Keep those tourists busy and we'll get along just fine. Are you going to call off your guards? Maybe. All right, I think it's about time for an ad. Maybe I'm a little early, but let's do an ad and then we'll grab the next two minion types. See you in five seconds. And we're back. All right, next is let's go for the mercs. Who needs to aim when you have the law of averages on your side? Apparently not your guards, but surely there's a better way. Bring in a mercenary to teach them how to shoot. 
We need to have a conversation about that last agent. We got him, boss. Got him good. Larry shot him, so did Radiga and Otis, and then we all punched him a bit. You also got a large number of holes in my walls. Who trained you? Trained? You mean like, lend? Like, what a teacher would do? We ain't no nerds, boss. Ah, oh, I see the problem. We need a weapons expert. We sure do. Plenty of more people to kidnap. Probably someone in Patriot, too. Hey, look, someone in Patriot to kidnap. Paid. Third type of minion unlocked. Now we've got mercenaries. You kill people for money, don't you? Mostly. Sometimes I do it for fun. That's not sociopathic. That works for me. Okay. And so do you. Great. Final one up is, there's no news like fake news. Sometimes you need to accentuate the genius and downplay the evil. A team of media specialists can handle that. Nab someone with the right skills and train your minions. Look at these headlines. They're saying I'm a heartless criminal who would rob banks. Aren't you? Strike teammate did that last week by your express order. Maybe, but I'm not heartless. I have an image problem, that's all. Find me someone who can fix that. You mean someone who can airbrush your pictures? A public relations specialist, you dolt. Someone who'll make all this fake news go away. Did that guy just call Zalika ugly? I'm gonna have to go kill a valet now. We'll, we'll do that before we do anything else. Hmm. Come here, valet! Which one of you jerks called me ugly? And there we go. A new type of minion is now available for training. Where do you want me to start? Make me look like a person of the people. I'll find some hands for you to shake, babies for you to kiss. On second thoughts, make me look like a person above the people. Yeah, no kissing babies. No anything with babies, unless we pump them. So we've also unlocked Uncle Sam. I want to do this because I want to get as much Agent X stuff done as fast as possible. So I am ready for when we unlock that last loot bit. Agent X continues to beguile you. Launch a two-pronged assault by pulling off a series of heists to embarrass him, while also taking steps to learn more about the man behind the mask. I've had time to consider it. And I can now admit, Agent X, I'm impressed with how you outmaneuvered me. <laughs> so Zalika's delivery there is very flat, but it 100% works for the context of the line because she clearly barely respects Agent X as a human being and absolutely not at all as a super agent. You're a big lumbering machine. Oh, shut up. You'll never be nimble enough to follow the footsteps of justice. Maybe I could be if I had the right talents in my ranks working for me. If you think I'll join you, you've got another thing coming. I only fight for truth and freedom. Perhaps, but I have no doubt that very soon you will also have good reason to fight for your life. Yeah. Okay, so we need to do some stuff on the world stage. Okay, main objective complete. We're gonna hold off on that for now. I wanna finish Uncle Sam, and if there's a third one that pops for Agent X, we'll do that one, but I kind of have a feeling we won't be able to do much more than this. Let me clear these notifications. Every game, every everything with notifications needs a clear all notifications button for those of us who Go completely mad with notifications. And no one's asked me about it, but I'm sure there are a few people who are like, Pyro, if you hate notifications that much, how do you even deal with your phone and its notifications? And I fucking hate those too. So, I am consistent. Alright, we've got a lot of slot machines. Let's actually even go a little bit crazier with those. Whoops. Damn it. Always want to have a lot of slot machines, because slot machines are unmanned, pose plenty of distraction opportunities, and are generally a decent way to get a little bit of cash 
in addition to giving the agents something to do. I was able to expand the casino a little bit. I don't think I gave the rebuild order on everything. No, nope. yeah, there we go. All right, but I do have it for the roulette tables. Yeah, and I think I've got it for the Baccarat tables. Yeah, good deal. All right, let's go embarrass Agent X on the world stage. Holy crap, I need so many, so much military power to do this. 15 mercs there, 17 guards there, 20 guards there. So we're going to have to boost our numbers to like 25 guards. Oh man, I don't really have a lot of room here. I suppose we can make a temporary training room over here, but that's still not going to solve my mercenaries problem. Let me see. Yeah, you can tell this one's kind of an advanced four. Okay, where else would I put the training room? I'd really rather not put it downstairs. Um... Okay, let's move the biologist table here. I'm going to have to kind of cram some stuff together. It's only going to have to be one tile width like that. I hate doing that that way, but kind of out of room here. Yeah, we'll just cram it together like that. Better than nothing. There is something to be said about advancing too fast. And I believe I'm running into the downside of that. My money is a bit low. I'm going to have to be a little bit more aggressive on the world stage if I want to try to get anything accomplished here. Um, so let's upgrade this one rather than going the military route. Well, yeah, we, we need a little bit more cash here. And unfortunately, I just... Don't have any to spare. Ah. Uh, I mean, it's a small amount, but... We have the intel to spare, so... Do a little bit of that. And I believe... Okay, so that'll upgrade this one. Then I can get this mission, which hopefully won't require too many guards. I need techies, but techies are cheap, so... We'll bump our techie count to 15. I've already pulled our mer mercenary count back down to five. I'm, four, rather. And I'm going to pull our guard count back down to 20. That's part of the reason why our money situation got out of hand. Salary because paid. of the salary count. I just didn't have the money I needed to pay everybody. So now our salaries are 68,000. That's... Better. It was up to 90,000. You can't really afford to have half your freaking money from your vault capacity going to salaries or you're not going to get anywhere. And that is unfortunately the situation I find myself in. So we're going to need to get money kind of any possible way we can. That For now, that means we're going to have to kill a little time so we can start getting some better money making schemes. I need to expand the vault so we have some more cash to work with either way. Man, there's just kind of nowhere to go there. I kind of built myself into a corner with the vault. But that's okay. Um, we just need to generate more cash and stop hemorrhaging so much money. We're also a bit low on power. We only have 21 to spare with the data banks up. But I do have the next level diggy do. So I'm able to, let's see, can I square this up now? Yes, okay, that'll get me another couple power generators to work with. Not a, not a huge amount of power, but better than nothing. And there we go. Should do pretty well. It'll give us a little bit of, a little bit of slack with our power. Anything else going on? Oh, north here. Okay, Agent X is up there, so we'll do our heat kill here. Over here, we'll get cash. And that will be enough for now. Salaries paid. We've almost got solve for X completed. I don't remember if we have to fight Agent X again after we've got that, but if we do, we're ready for him. Your scientists have discovered 
something. Yep, lure Agent X on the world stage. All right, well, that's fine. Come on down, Agent X. I got a surprise for you in the form of my fist. Liberty's light shines through any darkness. Also means I can cancel this heat kill because I don't need it. Hopefully a money one spawns in. And let's see if we can find... Oh, God. Okay, well, just immediately everyone spawned in here, which is good. I don't know if that means... Oh, yeah, there's X. All right, we'll set him to kill rather than capture. So the reason I flagged this hallway as a capture zone is this will let me start getting... Let's call them volunteers to get brainwashed, and then that'll also work with Zalika's other uh, specific achievement, I hope. So we only have two jail cells, but it's fine. Even if this takes a hot minute. What? Did we not defeat him? Oh my god, we didn't defeat him. Hold on a minute. Wait. I kind of assumed that we would get him defeated. Okay, he wasn't down to very much. But he managed to survive that onslaught. Shut up. You know, I brought you here because I read a bit about a journalist named Sam Hill who knew too much. I may have been interested in helping you, Mr. Hill, if you'd shown up with a more open mind. Forget it. You're an enemy of freedom. You hate truth. And the apple pie at your hotel is subpar at best. It's because cheesecake is better. You see these shotguns? I named them Truth and Justice. So I guess you could say I'm sticking to my guns. Ah, <sighs> dad humor. Too bad. But I imagine if you want to fight for your country, you have no problem dying for it, too. Okay. Oh, wait, we've got more to do here? No, okay, that was the end of that. Okay, good deal. So that's nice, because that gets me $200,000 as well. Um, which, that keeps me up for a little bit. And I guess that's it. I mean, Symmetry is here, but I don't need to deal with her yet. So... Let's go forward with the MSQ once I get... Yeah. So, what is the achievement exactly? Hold on. Weak-minded fools. Does Zalika convert 50 agents to your cause? Yeah, so that sounds like it's just the brainwash dealy do. So, that's fine. These things are expensive. 50 grand plus 20 power. I want to make more than one but not yet. That is an unconscionable amount of money for how little I've got right now. So let's just continue the MSQ. I did look ahead. Some of the loot I'm leaving behind is like the Sword and the Stone. It's not a huge deal. That one actually has an effect, but I'm also leaving behind a couple more that are just cosmetic, like the, uh, like the Meteor. It's not a big deal. So we're just going to leave the Sands of Time and all that uh, behind, it's fine. It's lonely being the only one with a brain around here. A burden the rest of us can only imagine. If I could collaborate with some decent researchers, I'd be able to perfect my void designs. We'll kidnap some right away. <laughs> Thanks, worker. No, they'll come oh. here freely. No researcher can resist a conference. Hotel bars, lanyards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just need booze and, you know, the promise of having some sort of status among their peers. Scientists from around the world will visit the cover operation for a conference. This is a chance to brief them selectively on your void design and learn from their research. Let's see. So we need to invite the world's best minds, second best minds. Mine's under than yours. Haha. -ha. Brief some researchers at the conference table. What's a conference without some chatter? Execute great scientists. <laughs> well, that would get him talking. And then we have to also summon the elusive researcher, Lena Lundstrom. Okay. So that just seems like some basic missions I need to run on the world stage. There's one over there. Um, any in any areas that I have already unlocked? Yes, we've got one here in Greenland, but I need to be a level two. Okay. 
Doesn't seem like any in these two sections of Anvil, so let's shut down both of these. I guess I can't shut that one down because it's locked down, but we'll make a presence over here in Western Hammer, which may or may not start the process of summoning Olga, which I definitely want to avoid as long as possible, but it is what it is. And meanwhile, do we happen to have the side story for Janet's next story? We do not, huh? Okay. Well, whatever. Um, and I think we're about out of time anyway. So we'll just continue the MSQ in the next one and start brainwashing these fools to our side so they see the light of science. And after that, we will continue to build Void and continue our world domination. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again next week, because I think this one comes out on Friday, for another episode. Or it'll be the next in the playlist. Or flipping whatever. You'll see it when it happens. It's right around the corner.